Babe Ruth, Pele, Michael Jordan, all three are sports superstars. But is an iconic player really the key to creating a legendary team? In my book, The Captain Class, I found that many great sports teams didn't have a superstar. They didn't have loads of money. They didn't have great coaches or even a great strategy. The only thing they had in common was the same kind of captain. And these men and women were not what you would expect. They weren't charismatic stars. They kept a low profile and often did the grunt work. They played relentlessly, sometimes bent the rules, and always stood up for what they believed in. In fact, some of them were so far under the radar, you probably never heard of them. Here are the six most underappreciated captains in sports history. The New York Yankees have won 27 world championships. They're the most glamorous franchise in American sports, but only one Yankee leader won the World Series five times in a row. Who was this motivational genius? Was it Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Derek Jeter? Nope, it was a stumpy little catcher named Yogi Berra. Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls are the greatest NBA team of all time, right? Hold on a minute. Bill Russell's Boston Celtics won almost twice as many championships, and Tim Duncan's San Antonio Spurs made the playoffs for 19 straight seasons and won five. The Bulls can't match either of those achievements. While Duncan and Russell might have been lesser players, they were more effective leaders than his airness. The 1999 U.S. women's soccer team won the World Cup behind unforgettable stars like Mia Hamm and Brandi Chastain. So which one of them was the captain? That's a trick question. It was neither. The captain of that team was a water-carrying, publicity-shy defender named Carla Overbeck. If Tom Brady's New England Patriots win another Super Bowl, it will be fair to call them one of the two best NFL teams of all time. But only one team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, has ever won four Super Bowls in six seasons. And the leader of that team was another guy who hated attention, the middle linebacker and defensive captain, Jack Lambert. Barcelona was the most dazzling soccer team of all time. They dominated the world behind the superstar Leo Messi and their manager Pep Guardiola. But the team's peak years corresponded to the arrival and departure of one player, a shaggy-haired, non-superstar defender and captain of the team, Carlos Puyol. Okay, last one. When you think of Brazil's great soccer dynasty that won back-to-back -back World Cups, the first person you think of is Pelé. But guess what? Pelé was never the captain. That job went to another unheralded defender, a guy named Hilderaldo Bellini, who never scored a goal in his entire time with the team. Do you see a pattern here? The point is this. Next time you're picking a leader for your team, remember that the right choice may not be the obvious one.